up, Whitey Nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Anime Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Shokugeki no Soma Season 3, Episode 5, titled The Darkening Dinner Table. And for those that are following along in the manga with me while you're watching the episode, um, this episode is going to start off with adapting chapter 131 of the manga and you got to see Rindo but there was a line change in particular that kind of bothered me which was which was she said in the anime she said um uh Kuga you better needs to do something about this and in the manga she's in Rindo just was like oh my god this is big she didn't seem like she cared she cared like too much about it but maybe that's just my opinion but anyway let's get um and this was a good placement for the opening song too was after um Rindau's, uh line good stuff anime okay so some of the content that's in this chapter was in was at the end of last week's episode which i was totally fine with um but there is some stuff Stuff from this chapter that was skipped. Um, they defeated a uh, Kuga Chinese restaurant. To think they devoured almost uh, half the Chinese um, RS sales and even got a hold of the customers their opponent had given up on. Um, and this part was skipped. Uh, you set your aim on the fourth day, a Saturday, when the number of customers would drastically um, increase and kept observing the visitors, and if there's any kind of cooking you're better at, me, at than me, then I'll accept your shokugeki. Are you serious, Kuga-senpai? Um, there we go. Then it's, uh, then we get Rindau. I, 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 okay, here's, I gotta say, I'll say this about Rindau. Like, Rindau's voice, I love Rindau's voice actress. I love the dynamic that, um, the anime gave her and Kuga. They are fucking adorable. I love love them and yes the fight isn't over until the end of day five i am agreeing with this uh uh yukihara oh my god so we're gonna we're getting some of the content um that was skipped in the first episode this was a good lead into it too so i i will give you props for that anime and then after that it goes into um, Kuga's uh, flashback, which is on page 16 of chapter 131. My Kuga, but something that I really like that this episode's doing is kind of doing like um, a comparing, um, it's comparing uh, the content that was in, um, that was skipped from the first episode and uh with you know what yuki Haru was was talking was saying and then comparing it to what uh you know kuga has gone through with sukasa so i really like that so maybe it was a good thing we skipped that content in the beginning of this season that's and um, what i was fer referring to was um the first the yuki Haru, uh, the flashback that we saw the, uh, the content skipped the first two flashbacks the um the content we see after that is uh, is uh, still um, a continuation of Kuga's flashbacks, and that event is in uh, chapter 131 of the manga. I wanted to make sure I was clear on that. The Yamode area looks so gorgeous in anime form. So we're not getting all the arena content yet, um, and I'm fine with that because... It really works well with the flow of this episode that we're getting all the Yukihara and um, and uh, uh, Rendao and Todakaro and Todakaro content. I am totally fine with how the episode is um, organizing the content, so to speak. But if if we're gonna get the content, I think we're going to get because if you read the manga, especially chapter one thirty one and one thirty two. Oh boy, you know what's coming. I love the chart of how um, Rindau basically went and ate all, um, uh, sampled all of the uh, food from 
all 120 boosts in five days. That was cool. Um, also, uh, what was the other thing I was thinking of? Um, I like that they showed the rankings and not um, show for uh, the Elite 10. And I really liked how they showed um, what they were doing, especially like Aizen, who was working behind the scenes, because that's something we just like literally saw in um, in Shokugeki no Soma's uh, manga. Like I want to say three weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. They forgot to mention that Tsukasa had already started cooking, but I really love the music they chose for this portion of the episode and I really love it. Tsukasa looks so fucking good I'm not gonna lie god Tsukasa I forgot how anal Tsukasa is but at the same time it's like you could understand why because he his cooking is like works of art so I can understand why you wouldn't want like anyone else to touch it until it got to the customer I can understand that Tsukasa damn it you are making me hungry Shokugeki no Soma. That ain't fair. Oh my god, I really, my stomach is growling. I really, really want to try. Oh my god. I want to try Tsukasa's cooking so bad. Because that food right there, that is, ain't even food anymore. That's just works of art. Like, I, I can't do it. I can't eat that. If it's, I can't eat works of art like that. It is just too beautiful. Oh my god, Tsukasa, you're just so, you know, like, you just want to, like, like, I think you can tell Rendell's like, dude, I just want to take the stick out of your ass and loosen you up, Sukasa. Like, that's what I want to do, too. I don't blame her. I want to talk about something that they did. They changed the order of things. So what they did, and I actually really like it, is Yuki Hara's inner monologue of the analysis of um, the dishes. They put it, like, before um, Sukasa came to their table and started talking, um, you know, uh, re uh, interacting with them. So, I have to say that I actually like the placement more there. So, anime, you get a plus for that. You get an extra point for that. Okay, so, this was uh, skipped. Um, excuse me, is there anything you would like to drink? I'm sure there must have been something that wasn't perfectly comfortable for you, and I'm very sorry. It's all right, Tsukasa, dear. I'm still enjoying the last course. Ha! Huh? This, this year's first uh, seat is certainly an interesting young man. That was skipped. Um, but... I love the music they chose for, um, like, talking about, like, the legend of Tsukasa, so to speak. Um, and uh, that he is called the White Knight, uh, gourmet, of, uh, a white knight of the table. I, I really like that. I'm so, like, I'm thinking to myself right now, because of where we're at in uh, chapter 132, I'm like, are we going to see, are we going to see Arena? And a certain individual, are we going to see them this week? Please say we are. Please say we are. This was skipped from uh, Rendell, which was, didn't see the need to ask a dumb question, I guess. And that's a good point from uh, Yukihara is he didn't ask them how the food even tasted. But the thing is, is that he maybe didn't feel the need he had to because he could see in their body language um, that uh, he knew that they uh, were enjoying the food. That, that's just a thought. Okay, so at the 13 minute 46 second mark, we're going back to uh, chapter 131 and we're getting to the arena content. Um, and I'm really excited and I got a feeling I know where it's going to end. And it's gonna, if it ends in this certain spot, it'll make me really happy. Um, let me just make sure I'm right. So it's going to be, um, hold on, let me make sure that I'm right here. Cause I think they just changed it because of the timing, but let me just double check. Okay, I need to make a correction. So I thought it jumped back completely back to 131 it somewhat did but um they kind of changed the writing and i understand why they changed the writing was because of um the time of day but um where uh the flashback is um which is like at the uh, like 14 minute five second mark we could or go around back to 14 minute mark 
is um, chapter 133 of the manga. And that's Arena's um, memories of Saiba and why Saiba, a.k.a. Soma's father, is really important to her. And the spot where they put it, what, um, where, like, there's just, like, a moment where um, uh, Arena's just thinking about Saiba. Like, that was a really good spot to put that particular flashback. So I'm very happy with that placement. Um, and then it goes, it, and then after um, the... Uh, after, like, I'll wait expectantly for that day to come so that I could taste your, taste your dish. Um, it then jumps back to uh, chapter 131, um, page uh, 15. I can't believe a zombie is here. Oh, I can't believe a zombie is here. And then it jumps to, like, in this, like, at the 14 minute, like, 52 second mark it jumps to um where we left off in chapter 132 which is page 18 i love how fired up soba is he's like and, and yes i and for those that don't know uh that haven't been watching my shoko geki no soba live reaction videos i shift the fuck out of arena and soma they have to hook up by the end of this series or i am not going to be happy I swear but anyway um, at about like the 15 minute, uh, 33 second mark or 32 second mark, um, we are at, um, chapter 130, um, uh, page, uh, four. Yeah, that's where we're at. So this part was skipped. Where and what has he been doing all this time? And why did he come here? And something that I wish um they would have done like they're doing for everyone else here but i'm hoping they're gonna do it at, by the end of the episode where they have like this because like i'm on um, page 10 of chapter 133 there's like this really fast looking panel of uh azami and it says nakiri azami um uh arena's biological father i really hope they have that particular panel in there if they don't i'm gonna be mad I love the imagery. Like, I love when um, you see Saiba, or not Saiba, why did I say Saiba? When you see Azami just, like, digging his clutches into um, Arena, you see, like, this dark shadow digging his clutches into her. And it is just so fucking cool. I really, really love the imagery that this does. Anime has been really good in regards to that. Like, um, especially this past week in, uh, with, uh, um, um, March comes in like a lion in particular. That's the one I could think of off the top of my head that has a real, that's been beautiful with this kind of imagery. Arena, how long will you keep me waiting was skipped, but then so much showed up and all of the, of the lights came in. Thank God we need you Soma. I'm sorry, the keep your father wait, um, don't keep your father waiting, um, what wasn't skipped. I'm sorry. I just totally fucked that up. But anyway, so at the 18 minute, um, 38 second mark, we finish chapter 133 and we're going into chapter 134. So the only, before we finish this episode, you know what? I'm going to finish this episode and then I'll tell you what my, um, problem was, uh, with um the episode and i'll cover and i'm gonna i'll cover the content that really that got skipped from uh chapter i think it was 132 yeah it was 132 okay and it's um i gotta make this clear it's on page six of 134 because um the first um uh, or uh, the first few pages of um chapter 134 are actually some of um, uh, some of the rankings um, which were shown earlier in the episode, and I actually like the placement of where they showed the rankings of the um, uh, uh, the elite ten. Um, but there was one part in particular that was, I believe, was skipped, and it's really driving me nuts. Which was with Eisen's content. Um, yeah, he man he managed twenty stalls and made oh no yeah it was he managed uh, twenty stalls and made one hell of a profit seriously that's not the work of a student like those lines were there but um 
uh, they weren't said by the right uh, person. That's what it was. Um, but anyway, uh, back to, uh, um, oh, hold on. Let me make sure if this is here. Just give me a sec. Oh, yeah, this definitely was skipped. Uh, you're Yukihara Soma. Ah, the judges. Whoa, it's been a while. So you came together um, to eat here. Things are awfully noisy here. Did something happen? Um, that was completely skipped. Um, let's see. Oh, um, that person, who is he? Um, let's see. I guess that's a no was skipped. Okay, there is... Rinda was supposed to be here, first of all, but, yeah, this is what was skipped. I'm going to just read it. Um, it seems uh, Nakiri-san's father came here, and then you have Arena saying grandfather, and that's on page 12. Um, hold on a second. Let me just make sure I'm not missing anything else from my know. Um, oh, here it is. Um, there's, uh, it's, uh, Sensei-sama. Oh, Yukihara Soma, so you were, so you were here. Hmm, ridden out senpai? I saw a bunch of tinted cars coming here, so I came after them to see what's going on. What happened? Er, we don't really know either. Like, I wish, I, like, I hope that's how the episode next week is gonna start, is when we see, like, like, seeing, uh, the cars coming and seeing Rinda running. Like, that would be fine. I would definitely be down with that. But whatever. I don't know if that's going to happen. There's Rindell! Oh my god! I thought they were just gonna skip Rindell completely! Oh my god! So we do get Rindell Senpai this episode! Woo! We don't get to see her running after them, but we do get Rindell, so the stuff that I thought was skipped is not skipped. So good stuff. Thank god. But, you know what? I will say this. It actually works with the flow of the episode a lot nicer. Because uh, uh, you don't have, like, that interruption um, of the, uh, of the dialogue going on between uh, Grandpa and Kiri and, and um, Azami. So I'm, I will accept it, anime. The way this episode ended was so good. Oh my God. Like we got that shock that the director, uh, that the Elite 10 said, is like telling the director, you're fired, bitch. We're gonna allow um, Azami in, and Azami's gonna be the ruler, and, oh my god, this episode, like, I gotta say this about Shokugeki no Soma, Shokugeki no Soma, for me, has been getting better and better every week, and I love it, oh my god, oh my god, this episode was so I'm very curious what you nerdigans thought about this episode. What do you guys think about Az I love Azami's Azami's design looks beautiful. Um, I love his voice actor. His voice actor is very sinister. I like it. Um, I like the dark aura they have around him. And for you nerdigans that ship the hell out of out of um, arena and Soma, you guys are going to be really happy with what's to come. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to my channel expansion, there is a few ways you can do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, or purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter. Follow my Twitch channel, friend me on PlayStation Network. All that's in the description box below as well. Till um, next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye!